Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jackie and every week I like to give you guys sublimation tutorials to help you with your sublimation journey. And today we're gonna to be pressing what some call the dreaded frosted glass. Uh, these come out amazing once you get your settings right, once you get your measurements right. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do them. We're gonna be pressing them in our tumbler press back there. And uh, let's just jump to it. So the first thing you need is to make sure you have a sublimation glass jar. You're gonna need your heat tape, of course. You are gonna need a sublimation print. So this has to be sublimation ink on sublimation paper. It can't be anything else. And it definitely has to be a sublimation frosted glass jar. The measurements, we have it at 10.1 wide. That gives us a perfect overlap. And then we have it at about 4.75 tall and you are gonna wanna make sure you cut all, when you print it out, cut all of the white edges off. Don't have any, you see how there's no white edges there? No white edges anywhere on the borders. And this is gonna make sure that you can line it up correctly. Let's show you exactly what I mean. So here's your glass jar, make sure you take your lid off first. When you line it up, you're gonna wanna make sure you don't hit the top of this curve here because that's not that's going to give you an uneven press and it's going to cause cause some blurring so what you're going to do is you're going to wrap it all the way around now do you see how it is not very even right there you the most important part of these guys is the top of that seam because most likely you're not going to really be able to see the bottom too much there you go so you're going to want to make sure that it is nice and straight at the top that's the most important part you can even look inside usually and see how straight it is so if you ever need to peek inside that's why i like these frosted glass jars because you can always peek inside so now that you've got that this is this is our taping method this is so that you don't have to do any crazy taping you're going to get a perfect seam we're going to push one at the bottom and we're going to do one at the top so now you have two pieces of tape bottom and top and then all you need to do is come straight down the seam with one long piece there, okay? Then you're gonna take your, I always talk about this, but in case you don't know, this is a dull dental hook from Amazon. I'll put the uh, description right here. I put the link in the description as well, uh, but it's just from Amazon. It's my favorite hook. It is sharp enough to get a really good clean push to get all of that air out of the seam but it's not too sharp, like the other side is the sharp side, it's not too sharp where it slices your tape. So that's why I specifically like this dental hook and also how um, dull slash sharp it is. It's, perf it's a perfect blend. So now what you wanna do is you're gonna wanna push down, you're gonna come right down that seam and get all that air out of there. I can almost see the paper almost bubbling a little bit to get all that air out of the seam. This is true with any product to get all of that air out of the seam. That's what's gonna make sure you don't have any blowout, any ghosting. Now we're gonna go over to the tumbler press and we are gonna press this at 360 degrees and we're gonna press it for 180 seconds on one side. Let me fix the pressure real quick. Okay, so our pressure is pretty good. You're gonna to wanna to get it kind of, you know, again, close it with one hand. You don't need to, you know, use your Hulk muscles here, but you just gotta close it with one hand and that's it. So we're gonna let it count down from 180 seconds and then we're gonna rotate it and it's gonna be amazing. So hang tight. Okay, so we just got done with 180 seconds. So all I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm rotating it so that the tape side is now down. If you've watched any of my previous YouTubes, you know I always tape, I always press with the tape side up first so that I always know it's the first press and I keep that normalized so that I know where I'm at in the process at any given time. So we're gonna wait another 180 seconds and this baby should be good to go. Okay, so we are at the second 180 second mark. So we're gonna just pull the tumbler out real quick. I wanna take this off right away, but if you have heat gloves, please use them. But I just usually use a very thick rag to take this off, but it is very, very hot when it comes out of the press. So just make sure you're protecting yourself there so that there's no injuries. But I just wanna show you what this looks like as soon as it comes off, cause I get so excited, as I'm sure you can understand. Let me show you. And then I'll take you over to where you can see it in a little bit better of a light but it comes out so good. 
I love those dark colors on that frosted glass jar. I'm gonna take you over, show you in the sunlight, let it cool down for a minute too, so I can pick it up with my bare hands. Here she is in all her glory. Oh my God, we just absolutely love these, especially these dark prints on this frosted glass. Comes out amazing every time. Just real quick, let's check out that top. That's why you have to get that top seam perfect and lined up so that it looks, it doesn't look like it's a piece of paper slapped on a frosted glass, you know what I mean? And you wanna make sure that you get all that air out of that seam so that that seam comes out perfect every time. And uh, and your customers will go crazy for these. Uh, sorry about the curse words, that's just kind of what we do here. Just to recap guys, we are using a frosted sublimation glass jar with a sublimation print, a tumbler press, and heat tape and we're getting all that air out of the seam. That's the most important part. If you're looking for these jars specifically, we do have them on our Sublimation Blanks website. It is tcbblankshop.com, and we also have the tumbler presses available for sale as well, and, uh, and yeah, you'll be getting these in no time. So if you have not yet, please like and subscribe. We drop new tutorials every Thursday on sublimation, running your sublimation business, helping you along your journey. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment below. If you do this and you use this tutorial, also let me know below so that we know that you are rocking it, and we'll see you next Thursday. Bye.